so already in my previous video I have shown you how to configure the database now uh, we're gonna we're gonna dive into the actual coding so the first step is to create our entities uh, so I'm gonna create a separate package for entities now uh, make sure that the package which you're creating is enabled for entity scan okay now I'm gonna create a new uh, class called uh, product now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this uh, pro class as entity and uh, if you are familiar with Hibernate entities or JPS specification, uh, so this is exactly the same thing and uh, uh, there's nothing related to Spring Data JPA. If you have created Hibernate entities before, uh, you can pretty much use the same logic here as well. Now, uh, so for for those of you who are not familiar with uh, what is an entity, uh, let me give you a quick uh, introduction. So entity is like an a table in your database. Now, if I mark this class as an entity, so what happens is that a JPA will try to create an a table with the name uh, product, and each and every field in your class is equivalent to your column, and uh, this is my uh, table name. Now, each and every instance or each and every object of this class uh, will have a row in your uh, database. Let's say, for example. Uh, so for this blueprint so for this class I will have a uh, table called a product uh, let's uh, let me add another uh, table here uh, let me add another column name and I, I will have a column as a uh, name ID and name so if I have an object for this particular class let's say I have an object uh, somehow let's say I have created a new object like this uh, iPhone uh, let's say a now this instance so this particular object will go as a row in my database so something like this so the first row will be uh, my id let's say my id is 123 uh, 123 comma iphone something like that and if i try to persist another uh, another object uh, with let's say Samsung it will go as an another row in my database. So that's the very uh, ugly introduction to entities So that's uh, so that's pretty much about entities now uh, I'm going to import this entity annotation uh, Whenever you are importing something related to JPA always make sure that you are importing a Java X uh, persistence package and uh, don't try to use uh, hibernate that's because as i said spring kind of uh, works as an abstraction on top of uh, uh, these jpa layers or jpa implementers and if you try to import hibernate and in future if you are moving from hibernate to any other uh, jpa implementer you will have a hard time uh, changing your imports so that's why I always uh, try to use uh, the default Java X package. Now I'm going to add a few other uh, fields product ID, product name, product description, and the price. And let me generate getters and setters for this one. <coughs> let me generate the constructor as well. Uh, generate constructor using fields. Okay and in case if you have a uh, constructor uh, if you have an uh, custom constructor uh, make sure that you have any make sure that you have you have a default constructor as well so that's because uh, during runtime uh, hibernate or uh, spring will try to create an objects for this class at the time it will use the default constructor so make sure that you have a default constructor so after that you have to define a uh, primary key for my table so I'm going to use ID as my primary key and if you want uh, this ID to be auto generated by default you can use uh, generated value annotation so this will try to uh, auto generate a key for us uh, as I said whenever you are importing make sure that you are importing uh, Java X packages uh, I guess it should be ID so that's how you create a basic entity. I'm not going to go much deep into these entities because as I said, there's nothing related to Spring and it's uh, definitely out of our course scope. So uh, that's about uh, creating an entity. And in my next video, what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, 
uh, we're gonna create our uh, repository and I'm gonna show you how to do basic CRUD operations so thanks for viewing guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe us